oh lord it's time to tell my story <laughs> when i had the youngest okay she's two now um i i don't work from home i own a few businesses a few online businesses on top of being a content creator and that was when facebook reels bonuses come out i had just been invited to the program maybe in like december of that year probably about two weeks before i gave birth and y'all my first check was like forty five hundred dollars <laughs> So your girl is money motivated, okay? Especially when it comes to something that I enjoy doing. So when I got that first check, I was like, oh, okay, you know, I could, I could do this. I had planned to take time off. I had pretty much called my organization and the moment I peed on the stick and it was positive, all right? And I told them, hey, I'm on maternity leave. Y'all got it. But I kind of lost my mind when that uh, reels bonus came out because I was like, oh, wow, this, this will be easy money. Boy, was I wrong. So first month got a check for $4,500. The very next month got a check for like $9,200. By this time, the baby was born, okay? So I spent the majority of my days with the newborn, you know, doing newborn things, waking up at night. And my dumb ass was, you know, insistent that he go to sleep at night and I was doing the majority of the overnight shifts. Yeah, don't do that. Because your sleep is just as important as his sleep. I don't care if you work outside the home, if you don't work outside the home, if you're a stay-at-home mom, I don't care. Humans need sleep. But anyway, I actually ended up throwing out my back and causing myself some very severe back issues because I was trying to work from home as a content creator and just doing, you know, management kind of stuff over my other businesses um, because I was literally sitting there on my phone recording content and just you know my my bassinet would be next to me and i was just going back and forth like this spending the majority of my day healing for from a c-section mind you and sitting there and working like in ungodly hours so if you're in that position right now and you can get daycare or you can get help for a couple of hours definitely do that because I'm still suffering right now from the effects of that. That did such a number on my back. I'm still working from that. I go to the chiropractor like once a week. I've got uh, a massage that comes to the house every other week. I'm doing stretching. I'm trying to get back on you know, my walking and my workout program and stuff like that, but it is a struggle. And if this is your first baby, I'm so, I don't wanna be a Debbie Downer here, but I'm, I'm gonna tell you right now, that you think it's hard to work from home and have a newborn at the same time, but it's going to get progressively harder because in a few months, that baby is not going to be, you know, sleep and then wake up, feed, change, sleep, wake up, feed, change. That baby is going to be crawling around. That baby's going to be crying. This baby's going to want your attention. It's going to want you to hold it all the time. It's going to want to be entertained. And honestly, I guess that's what we should be doing. Like a baby is not supposed to be just sitting there or toddlers not just supposed to be just sitting there on a tablet or watching tv while we're working so if you're looking up the prices of daycare and stuff right now um that is that is definitely on the right track not only for you know the baby for their development because again um we're we're supposed to be feeding into our children and it's, and it's really hard to do that and be on the clock at the same time, but also for your health, your physical health and your mental health. 